please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to get a thousand subscribers so that I can go around this fabulous city and make more videos. Let's get into this black cake. I have my eggs. You can see I have my pudding bowl. I have the sifter. And these are the ingredients that I'll be using. Now I am a working mother, wife, sister, brother, son, auntie, friend, and teacher, entrepreneur, and corporate nurse. So I ain't got time for all of that, but I'll let you know right there in that little bowl are those soaked rum, oh, fruit that I did two years ago. With some of that old Ray and nephews. But remember, this is a black cake. It's a black rum holiday cake. And this is my version of it. Honey, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. All right. Now, that is Jello, and that is the Duncan Hine. I'm sorry, that's the Betty Crocker cake mix. And they and that's the spice cake. They do have Duncan Hines, but I went ahead for Betty Crocker because I wanted to get something that had everything you needed and less impurities. Oh, wait a minute. It says it already has a pudding mix. So guess what? I'm not going to put any extra pudding in it. Hey. All right. I use the spice cake because if you made a traditional black cake, you're going to put your own spices in and, you know, the cinnamon and nutmeg and all of that. But that cake I already had it with the sugar and the flour. Uh, I got the sifter right here because regardless that it's coming out of a box, sometimes there's settlement of sugar and spices and different things in the process. I want to thank everybody at Betty Crocker who worked hard and made that cake. I support the taxpayer and the worker. I've got my oven in the back heating up to, uh, I believe, 350 degrees, but go by what the box says. And as you can see, I put everything in the box that's already ready for me. They did it for me, hallelujah, in the sifter, and I am going to shake it down. Now, that sifter came from Walmart. I thought it was so cute, and it has that little handle on the side. Sometimes hitting it and shaking it work better. I'm going to be um, changing up some ingredients as I go because as I'm cooking this, my family's in the back like, hey, don't do this, don't do that. You know, I got up really early to do this. Looks like I've got it almost down. Okay, it's coming down. I have butter in that cup now the box calls for oil i substituted for butter the box also calls for water i substituted for milk and i use lactose free skim milk the um and that's basically all with the ingredients and you'll have your basic spice cake but i'm going to put a little vanilla extract in it now that bottle that's over there at the blue top that's rum extract now i thought see that i told you at the bottom settlement sift your box cakes everybody I put that little trivia there or that coaster because when I slammed down, I didn't want to wake up the house. I want to use my KitchenAid hand mixer today. That mixer is 20 years old. Amen. So there you go. I'm adding the milk instead of water. Even that little measuring cup I got from Walmart. Those are all Pioneer Woman. The only thing is be careful. Like I melted my butter in another glass container because I heard if you heat those up with the paint and everything, it might have a little lead or whatever. Listen, I'm always on YouTube and I just, you know, try to use things. And I just wanted to know if it was okay to heat it up, if it was microwave safe. Well, I just use it for measurement. I still use my clear glass microwave safe container to heat my butter. So there I go. I'm, I'm mixing up this spice cake. Oh, and also there goes the butter. The recipe calls for three eggs. It could have been two on the box. Okay. But I use four because I want it to be fluffy. And as you put your eggs in, you know, that'll be next. You want to add them slowly but surely. Here goes the eggs. And those are like large brown eggs, so they're pretty good. If you have smaller eggs, throw an extra one in there. Just throw one in there for the gods. 
oh my goodness, this coffee is delicious. I'm always sipping some kind of coffee. This coffee I created is delicious. I'll be letting you know about that shortly. All right, get that egg in there. Now, the issue is when you do this, I don't know about y'all. When I grew up, we still licked the bowl and still licked the spoon. And years later, we found out we was probably getting salmonella poison. But let me tell you something. Hmm. Get your shots because I'm licking this bowl. Oh, and check your blood sugar, too. So blend that up really, really good. All right. See, it doesn't really take a long time. Once you have everything set up from start to finish, it's like a 20-minute prep. It's not even like a 20-minute prep. I'm going slow because, you know, I know I was recording. All right. It smells so good. This spice cake smells so doggosh good. Okay. Now for the star of the show. I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to dip out some of this two-year-old fruit. Now the fruit, uh, I went on a website and there's this fabulous Jamaican lady who tells you how to steam your fruit put rub in your fruit oh that spoon smell good and to store your fruit now i'm paranoid so i store my fruit in the refrigerator she put hers like in a jar in her cabinet but it's basically everything that's like pertains to the grape so it's like grape raisins and you know the site is fabulous and you can go on there and tell you how to put your rum in it and your Ray and Nephews. I had to two years ago order Ray and Nephews. I was unable to find it, you know, since the pandemic, but they have a lot of it in Canada. I'm in Michigan. I'm close to the border. They have a lot of the duty free and they also the duty free on the Canada side. They also have it in um, a suburb here. Um, I got to go like 30 minutes. So when I go, I get a lot. And it's like a suburb in um, Southfield. And I think it's because they have a lot of people that live there from the continent of africa and some people that are from the islands and also people from the nations of india love like that type of wine so i try to go there because i like spice hey we're all cousins i don't know what ship you got on the nina the pina the santa maria but we blood whether you like it or not now this was the rum extract i would have put regular soaked sweet fruit in here and rum extract if I was giving this to the children. But this is going to be a cake for the adults, okay? So I went and got the spice rum because it's a what? Spice cake, hallelujah. And I, I measured it ever so meticulously. Now everybody turn your back. I gotta put a little bit inside my coffee. That's what's taking so long. See how I see how respectable I am? All right, I'm bad. <laughs> let's let's blend this up. You can use your handy dandy trusty um, KitchenAid stand mixer. I use that if I was making a couple more, like maybe two boxes, or if I felt like pulling it close and doing it, or if Mister was using the hand mixer because he the pie man, you know. This looks so good. It's made the house smell so good. Okay. It really did. Yeah. I see my oven is on the white light over there. Isn't that a fabulous KitchenAid Pro range? If you can, get you one. If you can't, get a very good oven. Dual fuel is the best. That's gas and electric. Your bill will probably be hell of a high if you don't even want cooking on it. But do what you got to do. All the top parts of my stove is all because they're in the dishwasher. Uh-oh, let's go in here and add this fabulous Watkins. Y'all remember Watkins? That's vanilla extract. Honey, let me tell you something. That Watkins ain't no joke. I even ordered Watkins cough syrup. With a little rum. Get that coal up out of you. Hallelujah. 
My speeds on my blender are usually one and two. I figured three gonna mess up the kitchen. All right. And over there, I'm gonna bring those fancy pants close. I get those on Amazon during the pandemic. Oh, let me tell you about this. This is black food coloring. It is a gel type of food coloring, but it's halal kosher. That means no animal products in there. So it's kind of like burnt sugar and whatever else they use to make it colorful. But it get, it's, it's, doesn't have that number nine dye. So it'll filter through your kidneys and you don't have to worry about dialysis on this one right here. Amen. Just use as much as you need, baby. I love me some black. Everything black, 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 black. So I put about two squirts. I'm going to tell you the truth, though. One squirt would have did it, okay? One squirt would have done it, okay? Don't that look good? It doesn't even take away from the cake, um, you know. But if you taste it, which I did taste the uh, food coloring... It did have like a little natural kind of sugar taste, but it didn't taste take away from the cake. And I got it on Amazon, so when you put it in food coloring, put it in kosher food coloring if you don't want any animal products. And you know, hallelujah, I don't mess with that pig. And then you can also put in halal. But this will come up that it's, it's you know, it is permitted to eat. Amen. Look how black that is. Oh my God. If this was a pool, I'd strip naked and jump in. Ha! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry. Would it look good? See that? I only needed one squirt. And how I know, I made another cake. Everybody liked this. This didn't last long. This was like, ugh. And I used one squirt. So I got my pants together. And I used that um, Baker's Joy and sprayed it. Gone are those days of butter and flour, Baker's Joy. Okay, now let's go ahead and it's going to take two pans. And yes, everything I have on is fabulously clean, like that fabulous robe. Hey, Neiman Marcus, get you one. All right. I'm pouring it in there, y'all. I made two. I made a small one for the house and the other little one was a gift. Okay. Uh-oh, I drippity drip. See, I'm a bougie cook. And I like to be clean while I'm doing stuff at the same time. All right, man. Get this right here. Get this, get this. These spatulas I actually got from Sam's Club. And I actually got them for my sons to use. I figured they need a longer grip. But it actually worked out when you do this because your hand is like not really into there. Like the fancy smashy ones I like. And then I got the rest down. Isn't this beautiful? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's that's from the uh, you know an old show. If y'all know what show that quote is from. Like and subscribe to my channel and tell me. Or okay, just give me some subscribers. Everybody else got a thousand. Help a sister out. All right. There we go. Look at this. Now it's a lot of hack videos, but I try to hack fancy smashy stuff. So I use the information that I've learned on other YouTube channels. I subscribe to more channels than I got subscribers, but that's okay. God is good um, because I'm learning as I go. My whole goal is to eat good, eat healthy, remain fabulous, okay? Remain fabulous, okay? Okay, that's key. And to be out the kitchen quick. All right, I ain't giving DTE, Con Edison, whoever you pay any more money than they supposed to get in this oven. Don't mind that bottom, bottom pot. I did. I snuck some fabulous turkey wings down there. Oh. But I had a pan of water. That water would kind of steam that cake so it's soft. Follow the directions on the box. Now, me, I have to check my cake more often. Look how beautiful it is because the oven is cooks quicker than a regular oven, the Pro Rangers. 
Look at that. You can see the steam coming off. When I tell you it smelled good, look at that, look at that. It's spongy. I believe it would have been spongy um, if you would just follow the directions. But for some reason, when I started steaming my cake, which I got from a fabulous um, Jamaican site when they was making a Jamaican black cake, it, it came out wonderful. This was so delicious. So delicious. And like I said, I made a couple more. I didn't use but one squirt of the black cake. And there you go. Like and subscribe to my channel.